hi good day today in this video I'm going to show you a quick fix tip how you can manage your compost better so that you don't have unpleasant smell in the compost bin at home okay what you see here is the kitchen waste that I've put in the compost bin make sure that you chop your kitchen waste in smaller pieces and then turn a little bit to provide aeration in the compost don't forget to close your bin and you can come back in three days and what you normally see in a compost bin is a fungus like bacterium not only this bacteria help you on breaking down all the hard uh, harder items in the compost bin it also shows a good balance uh, in your compost bin of carbon and nitrogen. You can turn your compost three times a week uh, at this point, or you can also turn once a week um, because in compost making, the two of the important elements here is air and moisture. So you, make, you need to make sure that it's balanced in the compost bin if you found that your compost bin produce unpleasant smell this is an indicator that there is too much nitrogen in the compost bin how do you tackle this problem is by adding more carbon in the compost bin um, add in and then you make a quick turn so that um, the air is circulate in the compost bin and then you can leave it for a day and then you can check if, it... if you check your compost bin and the process of decomposting is low and there is no heat in the bin um, that's an indicator of there is um, low nitrogen material in the bin what you can do um, to tackle this is by adding more nitrogen in the bin uh, have it a few turns and then close the bin and check in the next day or next two days and see how it goes from there okay one of the other common question about home composting is what to do and how to deal with compacted um, home compost bin um, when it gets too full so what normally i do is i don't fill the bin until um, on top until full so I leave a little bit space on it, on in, inside the bin, so we can have a uh, space to work on. And also the other important thing is when you put your carbon in nitrogen, um, make sure you you have some tweaks or um, yeah tweaks. Tweaks will be good. Um, small branches um, to fit in the bin. You just break it. And then just put in the bin because it provides um, some space between um, your compost and when you air it you still have it provides space uh, between the compost um, in the bin so that helps you turn the bin um, another thing is uh, it will be good ideally um, you have two compost bin at home um, so if one gets full you can transfer it to another bin Okay, again, thank you all for watching the video. My intention in this time of COVID that I can share with you some ideas or skills um, on home gardening, how we all can grow food at home with limited spaces. Um, we need to break our mindset that uh, growing food need to be, we need to have a land, we need to have a farm to grow our own food. It's not necessary you can still have a small space of land like this space it's very limited but it's very compact you can grow food um, in pots in containers in recycled containers so those are the things that i would love to share i hope um, despite all this uh, period of restriction movement order we all have to face we can go together and you know support each other in any way we can thank you